Hi everyone, it's Ruby Red 484 and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve this look, the red lipstick look. Really bright, really bold and really sexy. I hope you like it because I use it a lot on nights out, especially lately. It's one of my favourite makeup looks for the moment and focuses everyone's attention on your lips. This is a really great look so I'm really excited to do this tutorial. So let's get into it. So obviously it can be really daunting when you have to go out and buy a lipstick. I know some people tend to shy away from bright lipsticks but honestly it is a really 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 worthwhile investment because once you draw attention to your lips and tone down the rest of your makeup you can get some superb results that I'm sure you will be impressed with. If you see people on the red carpet that sport the red lipstick look it really does look amazing regardless of your skin type or hair colour. So I really wanted to just do a quick little video just to show you how to apply um, red lipstick. First off though, I do need to say that if you are having trouble choosing a red lipstick, it's definitely worth narrowing down your options, just thinking about what kind of shade and tone you want, as well as whether you want a gloss or a matte based lipstick, and then if you go to any um, counter such as MAC or Chanel, or if you want to go for those higher end ones, you, they obviously will provide you with support and options. However, if you want to go to a drugstore, you can just experiment with a few cheap types of lipstick, and I've done that as well, and that's also a really worthwhile task because you can just buy a couple that are really cheap and then choose one that you really love. But in my mind, red lipstick does have to satisfy a few bits of criteria, which include that it has to stay on for a couple of hours at least. It can't rub off also when I'm drinking or if I'm talking, I don't wanna get like a faint line inside. And then on the outer corner, it still stays really red. I really think that's gross and it just doesn't look that great um, when you're out on a night out. You just want it to stay bold and fresh throughout the whole night. So it's definitely worthwhile investing maybe a little bit more money in a lipstick that will be bold and stay on your lips all night for as long as possible. So this is a MAC 316 brush, 316 brush, and you can already see I've used it onto the lipstick. Now my lipstick at the moment is a MAC lipstick. It is called Cockney, and I don't think it has a number, no it doesn't, Cockney B90. And I went into MAC because I've been looking for the perfect red lipstick for a really, really long time now that will suit my shade and my style. So I went in and spoke to one of the girls and they said, this is one of our best sellers, I really, really think you'll like it. And it is this shade. It is a really red lipstick guys, but it has some gold specks in it because I knew I wanted something that had a little bit of shimmer to it, so the gold really helps in that. In the top of the lipstick, like that, and I start on the outer corners, but you want to start centrally, so you want to line your lips first. So start centrally, just defining your lips. But be sharp and bold with the applicator brush. You don't want to kind of smudge it too much, so just do one or two straight lines over your lips. Open your mouth slightly, just to go around the outer corners. areas to focus on are the arch of your lips, just up here, and the underneath of your lips as well. So you can always just coat a couple more layers on the outer corner, just to make sure you define those parts. The arch is a choice of preference, you don't obviously need to go for a really prominent arch, but I like this kind of V, strong V at the top of my lips, so that's what I'm going to go for today. And once the basic outline is done, as I've shown, you can start to fill in the gaps because obviously my lips aren't coated in any um, or much lipstick at the moment. So just fill in the gaps like that. 
This brush is really great because it's a beautiful shape. It's really thin and tiny and just gets in all the nooks and crannies. Make sure you dab the applicator brush as well when you're filling in your lips because you want to press it into all of those cracks in your lips and places that the lipstick might not be able to get into straight away. So I'm just going to go over the arch once more. Make sure that is fully defined. And I'm quite happy with that. This lipstick works really well at giving a really sharp edge on the edge of your lips. Especially with this applicator brush. There you go. So there we go, we've got a kind of in-between look. If I was going out at night, I'd definitely apply a lot more red lipstick and just go over them. This is a really, really simple way of doing your lips. Obviously, you can define, contour, shadow, gloss your lips as well, but I just wanted to show you the basics of achieving a really beautiful red lip. Anyway, yeah, I hope you liked the look. It was really simple, quick and easy, but I just wanted to show you a quick tutorial on how to achieve red lips, which is one of my favorite looks for spring 2011, so I really hope you like it and I will speak to you all soon. Bye!